Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tarot here and I'm going to do a full moon reading for fire signs for this weekend coming up. So just a quick um, reading, uh, general, take what resonates, leave the rest. Just to see if we can pick up some energies of what's happening for this full moon. So fire signs, fire signs, what's going on? Well, this is the first card, Fire Signs. Three of Pentacles reversed. Wow. Normally, you know, when I see the Three of Pentacles, it's about um, accolades and recognition at work and um, ideas. It's like that sort of seeds planted and starting to come together. It's reversed. So there may be some blocks, maybe someone in the way when it comes to work or um, accolades that you should be receiving. So what's blocking you? Nine of Wands reversed. So the Nine of Wands is a, it's a heavy energy, but it's reversed. Um, it's about having to stand your ground, and you know, often when you look at all the um, Wands, the Eight Wands in the background, you, you're doing it on your own. It's almost like that um, that Aaron Brockovich um, energy for me when I look at this card. It's like going up against um, the establishment. It's almost actually like what's happening over in the States where, you know, people are trying to stand up to the police and the government. You know, when you're trying to fight um, these powerful agencies that cover up for themselves, that um, enable um, abuse, it's really hard. So this person, you know, has tried to do that. Um, it's reversed. Um, so maybe there hasn't been as much success in, in doing that or the burden or... Um, hopefully more than anything you've been able to be successful Stop it. it's the dog and you're coming out of that phase but someone doesn't want you to be um, someone doesn't want you to receive those accolades that you should receive from what you're doing do you know what I mean like someone doesn't want you to receive the recognition for what you've achieved achieved on your own that's what I'm trying to get at Queen of Pentacles, and maybe this is you achieving that um, on your own. Look at the um, success. Oh, the Prince, what did I say? Did I say Princess of Pentacles? Sorry. Princess of Pentacles. Look at that. An offer coming in. A stable offer. Well, what offer? So someone doesn't want you to get the recognition that you deserve, but there's an offer coming in. So why is that? fire signs death card because it would completely change things someone wants you stuck or you're you're keeping yourself stuck death card could be dealing with a scorpio but also um it's about change it's about not just physical death it's about a death of a situation a uh, a way of doing things it's about rebirth it's about starting again it's about cycles ending so I almost get the feeling that someone's self-sabotaging or someone's trying to sabotage what you've achieved they don't someone doesn't want you or you don't want someone to move forward you don't want what they've achieved out in the public yeah, you want someone stuck. Someone, Six of Swords reverse. So Six of Swords is about moving forward to a um, a safer um, destination. Like, you know, how you move in the middle of the night. Um, it's about movement. So it's reverse. So someone, yeah, I can sort of see it. Someone wants someone stuck in the same cycle. Someone doesn't want someone to move on, to get those accolades, to know their worth and to move on to brighter, bigger and brighter, better things. This could be you doing this. You could be doing it to yourself. You could be doing it to someone else. Or this could be happening around you or to you, you know. It take what resonates and it, and it can be, as you know, about you or about someone around you. So it just depends. Five of Swords. Because Five of Swords to me is about trying to win at all costs and being quite ruthless at it. So there's been a battle here to keep someone stuck, 
to keep someone um, codependent maybe you know the swords to me is that emotional that energy where you you know because you get the eight of swords it's like that emotionally stuck so I think someone has wanted someone to stay codependent but they want to break free so do you want to break free does someone want to break free from you you know what is it seven of pentacles now this came out before I started a reading then I had to stop seven of pentacles is about um, the apprenticeship and starting um, learning something new Let's see what else is here the moon reverse someone wants someone to be stuck to not know their worth so someone can keep controlling them I think or keep them tied to a situation longer than they than they need to there's um dishonesty here with the moon card reversed it's being revealed it will be revealed hopefully this weekend I mean the with the full moon you know this is a full moon here obviously you know whatever is in the dark always gets revealed you know at some stage when it's daylight when the light comes you can see the sun in the background trying to shine trying to shine through trying to illuminate what's hidden it's about intuitions about dreams it's about a third eye opening and seeing what's really hap happening and you know someone doesn't want that out but it's reversed so it is coming out the truth about someone holding on to someone and look at the you know, the, talking about holding on, the Four of Pentacles is the miser card and it's reversed. Someone wants someone to stay stuck and, and wants to keep them, um, they want to hold on to someone for dear life. And maybe it's Two of Cups, maybe it's about a relationship. A relationship that caused a lot of problems and caused a lot of headache and, and hassle for someone. So I do, I think someone wants to keep someone trapped, guys, and stuck. But this person's wising up. They want to get out. They want to break free. If it is a relationship someone doesn't want you to leave, you know, I urge you to seek help. Um, because, you you know, I think some people think that they own the relationship that they're in. And when it ends, they're not happy and they don't want it. So they, you know, they can it can become quite toxic. So fire signs. Um, you know, no one should keep someone stuck in a relationship that they're not happy in, okay? And that's what I think is happening, or that's what's going to be uncovered with the moon reverse. The truth about codependency, the truth about someone that's manipulative and controlling, it's going to come out. So hopefully you can get out of this relationship, and then that's sort of what... Or hopefully someone can get out of the relationship with you if you're a fire sign and if you're like that. Oh. So I'll just do a moonology um, oracle because of the full moon. Fire signs, fire signs. What is your card? Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. And that's interesting because that's what the full moon is. It's the full moon in Sag. So um, look at the bigger picture. Look what's really going on. Are you being controlled? Are you trying to control someone? You know, it's not good. It's, it's criminal to keep someone tied when they don't want to be. So that's something you need to address. And it's very interesting that this card came up because this is what the reading is. And it came up for you guys. So I'll just do a love for each of the signs uh, for the weekend. Um, Aries, Aries, what's the love message you need to hear? That flipped out. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I think this is, what, this is what the reading is about. You know, someone's made you lose respect for yourself because they want to keep you trapped and not, and not move forward. So you need to start loving yourself first, respecting yourself. Look in the mirror. And even if you do one affirmation a day, a positive affirmation, I am worthy. Um, I am um deserving of love you know always put I am if you can in front of whatever you want to manifest I am abundant I am free I am you know deserving of um, a magical love I'm deserving of a soulmate so you know just even if it's one affirmation a day 
it's really important to build your self-esteem, especially if you've been in a codependent relationship like this. Leo, 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 Leo. What does Leo need to know? Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, uh, Leo, you might not have enough money to go out and date. You might not um, be in a position where you can get time off work and stuff like that. But you need to always try and make time. So if finances are a problem, maybe you need to sit down and work out a budget. And, you know, you don't always have to spend a lot of money when you go out. And you don't have to buy um, from the designer stores. You can get some amazing things at thrift shops to look good. It doesn't really matter. So, Sag, what's your love reading, Sag? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Um, you, yeah... This could be a number of things. Um, you don't want children. A partner does. You might have children and they're being difficult at the moment. It depends on what age they are. You might have a relationship with someone who has children and they're being difficult because they might not like you or you don't like them or they don't like your children. You know, something like that. But, I mean, hopefully things can be resolved. And if they don't, well, you know, kids can play up. Um, and if they're in the wrong, maybe they need to be spoken to. So... Fire signs, um, good luck for this full moon.